Did you there. give it a password so I yeah, can? Yeah, I did. Right, it's a mammoth knock. The red team name on is making that a little bit difficult. Caps lock on. And. Okay, let's change that. Anyway. So, I don't know if they cut times up, but presumably they. I do. Good for you. Well done, Raw. You're so lucky, aren't you? Quad is at 40. Mammoth versus Sky in its clan base, Yorika. 26 for stage manager. If I look at teams quickly, Mammoth taking the lead at the moment. So, Deeth, Nuba Killer. Um, Satan. They're Satan, Satan. Oh, I suppose. Satan. Satan, and Satan. Is Mammoth. Piz, Bugatti, The Forge, and no, Sky. We're playing Nunk at the moment. He gets eliminated by Deeth's Rockets. We're on Purgatory. It's always good to see a Purgatory play. Yep, and leading up to the second set of power-ups, so far we can say that Mammoth are dominating the red armour because they have taken six to the zero of Skywalkers. That is great news. Great news indeed, for a Mammoth. And there's Miso with the battle suit pick-up. has been eliminated. Well, good time for Miso, especially because he has the Red Arm and Lightning Gun now at his disposal, so with no quad to worry about, he is free to look for as many kills as he can possibly find. There you go, easy frag there. So, I mean, going into this match, because we've just finished off this battle, because so you finally take control of the Red Armor for. Who are you saying is the favourites between these two? Man, not a favourite, but, you know, this is the sky. This is the easiest game they're going to have in the groups. Not saying that is in I expect them to win, but it's going to be their easiest chance at a win. So they're going to be looking to try and perform to their absolute best, and you know they're, they're going to want to pick up a map win at least, if not challenge to you know take a two-one or a two-nil. Because despite you know we saw Skywalkers get kind of destroyed by unknown, but you know that's expected. And then newcomers, unknown, are all vastly experienced in Euro Cup. And Skywalkers, I thought, you know, as much as they got destroyed by unknown, at times, you know, you saw glimpses of good team play. So, in a game like this against Mammoth, they have a chance. So, just over a 10 frag margin at the moment. Satan just Did we just see that? That was impressive. The... I don't think I've seen anybody jump in at that part of it before. So that... I've seen people get knocked in. But yeah, that's quite Voluntarily impressive. just jump in. Quite impressive work by Satan there. He's hitting 50. 7% rail at the 27 plasma is probably even more impressive. Shots has had, of course, but. Hundreds. Miso coming out on top. Just outside that red armor area. One of the key areas of the map, of course. We've got 10 seconds to all the powers. Miso double stack this red. This could be a massive moment. Really needs to do more damage there, LaForge. It's going to be a very stacked quad running around this map with a lightning gun. Rail did just miss as well, just flying out of nowhere. 10 frags the mod, just switch around to the battle suit. This is a double power. This one. And the forge going to switch around to the quad one frag on the board there. 40 health, taking a lot of damage, but only having one frag actually. Not the greatest LG manages to eliminate his teammate on top of that. So technically, he's really only made one frag with his quad, and it's cancelled out one of his frags with a team kill. Perhaps not what you'd expected, you know, with the stack he started with. No, I mean, they already had control of the red armor, so... Didn't really gain anything either. Yeah, their control of the red armor at the moment is certainly solid, to say the least. 12 to 1 on the red pickups. And if you're in Skywalker's position, that's not really good news, because they don't even seem to really be putting much pressure on the pickup. I mean, it'd be fine if Mammoth were taking every single red, but taking some damage from above or wherever. But that's just not happening at the moment. Okay, so just taking the Mega as well, looking at the Mega stats. 6 to 4, they're slightly ahead of that. Not as big a gap, but they're still ahead. So, again, a much bigger advantage than uh, Sky are having. Now, when one team has the Red Armor Vaughn on this map, I mean, what are the options? Well, you certainly want to try and keep Rail out of their hands, because if you're allowing a team total control of the Red and 
you know, as a consequence of that, they've got total control of the lightning gun. You certainly can't afford to be giving away rails. And, you know, from what I can tell, Skywalkers do seem to be taking quite a lot of rails. Obviously, we can't see individual weapon pickups, but from their positions, you know, Mammoth are having to challenge them at the rail, and they're not, you know, they're not coming away with many frags doing it. You know, they're being forced back. So, Skywalkers look like they've got a good position on that rail. So just getting an easy kill, securing this quad straight off the spawn as well. Let's see if there's a serious risk of double power up again. Oh no. Sky managed to have the forge stacked. 130 armor he had when he picked that one and he's got a rocket launcher perfect for battle suit. He'd probably like a better weapon to pick up frags in open areas with, but he doesn't get the option of that one of the no now as a shotgun. Where is that quad that switched around to that? He's in the red armor area, he's got three frags on the board, he's being chased down from behind. By the battle suit! Oh! Hit a good rocket, but it wasn't going to be enough. The battle suit did get his prize. And it looks like Sky are in on the red armor area, Vor. Yeah, for the first time, but the Forge has already been, you know, discouraged from staying there, but like damage from above that he wanted to avoid. Well, that's the key thing you were mentioning before. I mean, you want to have kind of a war of attrition going on through that window, through the corridor. You just want the pressure over that red armor the whole time if you don't have it. Yeah, you want it to be a concern for the team who's going to be picking red up that they might take some damage from somewhere. You could see he just took damage from below from that gap in the floor. There's Picked such... that red up and took so much damage. We are following Miso here for a minute or so and he basically took no damage. There was a spawner or so, he might kill them straight away. That was it. We see this already from LaForge's point of view. The red armor, the guy who picks up the red armor took damage immediately with it. Now he's finding it difficult to stand in his own secure room and look at the damage he's taken already. He didn't get the red and Miso's killed him. So, big difference in the tactics between the two teams and what they're aiming to do. Yeah, Mammoth far more accomplished on this map, it seems. And we have seen them perform well on this map in the past, and this would undoubtedly be their pick, I believe. So, 20 frag margin between the two teams now, Mammoth on top. And we got 10 seconds until the quad. A couple of seconds later is the battle suit. Sky just going for the battle suit again, it looks like. Let's switch around. Well, I just tried to knock who went down instantly. The quad's going to be in the hand of Miso, who just had a pummel battle just to grab it. Nubicle has grabbed him in the battle suit, though, so that's a gain by Mammoth, despite taking a lot of damage with that. He's quad. very weak here. That's well played by Skywalkers, you have to say. You know, they give away the double power up, but they dealt with the battle suit brilliantly then. Let's switch around to the quad Miso. 133 25, he's built himself up to with the squad Plasma in hand. And he's got 32 ping, so he should be pretty effective with it as well. Quite a ping-dominated weapon. Mammoth have actually got every quad and three battle suits. Yeah, that's terrible reading if you're Skywalkers, but quite honestly, the score difference is 21 frags, and you look at the power-up dominance from Mammoth, the red armor control, perhaps the they'll be slightly fight. concerned. Three, yeah, the Mega as well, two, but they're not leading by three. more. It really has to take a bit more advantage of this quad this time, Miso. He's got 15 odd seconds there. He's now got his first frag. LG is up. I mean, he's going to spend time getting that. Standing around red. His teammates aren't standing securing it. I never quite will understand that, where you get a quad and you, you basically say, uh, you just hold on to red, which has been under threat at no point during this game. And we'll all run out with nothing to try and look for the frags. Doesn't seem um, efficient. The best, yeah, the most efficient strategy. You could conceptualize. But regardless, they are leading by 25 frags, and it's going to be difficult for Skywalkers to get any kind of grip on this game if they continue to show this kind of power up play. They just haven't been in the game on the power ups. It's a nice bluff, and he takes out Fugatti. He's not going to follow. No, good defense in the room there. Excellent. He's nowhere near red time though, so he's going to have to run away and escape. Heavy shot on a Nuba killer, although he's punished himself. And look at that. Cheeky Piz. Good rally by away. Piz as well. What was that five impressive? 66% rail? Pim Pim. Not bad at all. If he can get in better positions to use his rail, I mean, he's pushing in now. This is a risky position to push. I mean, he hits a shot and backs off. That's probably a smart move because what, if someone was to push him. There you go. This is dangerous. Yeah. Takes a lot of damage, but does survive. 
needs a bit of team support here to escape it, and he doesn't find that because Nubikil is in behind him. Yeah, I mean, he hit some nice shots there, but as I was saying, you could see the risks of a position like that because he was pushed, and a spawner behind him as well. No real escape options. Here's the power up coming up, Skywalkers. They do have the battle suit secured. Miso stacks again, 100 100. Lightning gun was a full of battle as well. And once again, the battle suit wow. would only have a rocket launch to go up against his quad. Uh, the quad taking a lot of damage there. And he could be in trouble here. That's a brilliant rocket, rocket by the Forge. Perfectly placed. Some people would have snatched that little bit more named below, but brilliant rocket by the Forge. And now he's just got to hunt and get more frags. He's only got three rockets to work with and four seconds left though, so make do with locking down this red room. Yeah, but with only three rockets left, if he was to get into a fight, there goes one rocket. Wow, Nubica is so aggressive there, dropping down. You almost don't expect that. You've got a rocket launcher. He drops down and nothing. But that's the difference between the two teams. I mean, Mama are just relentlessly attacking this red. Desperate to secure it, and Sky basically is the first team to give up on that. Though. They do seem far more keen on just making sure they hold onto the rail rather than being too concerned about red. And I don't know, it can work, but you are risking allowing a team to completely lock down red, pick it up uncontested. You know, you really have to be hitting your shots to be able to count on them at that point. Well, what I'll say, we'll go back a couple of seasons with District 9, and they had a lot of close games, but they never won a map. And that was their playstyle. Their playstyle was simply keeping it close. It doing simple things and keeping it close. And that's almost what I kind of imagine Skywalkers are doing a little bit. They're not trying to do anything more than really play a very simple strategy and just keep it as close as they can because we saw this last week with Unknown it's a bit of an unfair comparison. They kept it pretty close for a long time despite being seriously outmatched by the technical ability of the players. They were up against it. And on a map like this, with the amount of power-ups they're giving away at the moment, it's it's just a real uphill battle the whole time. Satan shot in hand. And I'm going to say, once again, this yet again was a double power up. Excellent. And what is that now? The like fourth time? So is it every quad as well for Mammoth? Yeah. Every single quad. And four double power ups. And when you're giving up those kind of power up statistics, your chances of winning are so low. I mean, it's, all, it's almost surprising that the difference only is, you know, 37 frags. It's exactly what we saw against um, Unknown. The same kind of scenario. Unknown just absolutely dominated, but yet the score was, you know, relatively close considering. And I, I just think that's the kind of game style that Sky may be playing out. Just playing a, a fairly simple, tight game. Don't give away frags. And in the long run, I think that's a good way to learn the game in some sense but right now it just kind of means they're in a tactical position where they can't really win the map. And yeah, when we've seen they've, they've had good control of the rail at times but have they been in what you call great positions to make use of the rail? We haven't really seen the kind of pressure above the red armour that we'd expect a team to you know try and mount. You know, we've seen Mammoth just have such an easy time of taking red Although, you know, the stats are starting to even up because we saw the difference in stats earlier on in this game, but it's now 20 to 13 on the Reds. But how much real usage are they getting because you know, the score's going further away from them now. Yeah, we did actually see them rushing into the Red Room trying to take control of it. We're following Satan at the moment, 180 health. He's got a rocket, not too much ammo on that, and a plasma to utilize. Building up to the power-ups. Great first rocket, oh. but wow, it saves himself. I'm surprised he even actually jumped into that position though. The first rocket wouldn't have sent him over the edge. He kind of just exactly. Here we go. That's strange. Here's with the battle suits. We're trying to the quad. It's new the killer. Could come head on head. No chance of any a shotgun. Uh, he's been absolutely dominated there. New just can't, just can't get near the quad to make the shotgun effective because the quad is just pushing you back with the lightning gun. It's a good save. Oh, Nunk perfectly placed rocket to take out that quad. Excellent. We have two sets of power-ups left remaining on this map. 
Can they turn it around or is it just too big a gap? Don't even suggest that. They unfortunately can't turn it around, this. Let's be serious. No, I'm gonna admit it. I don't think they can turn it you're around. You're gonna admit defeat this? Yeah, I am. Um, I think you're right. I like to be the optimist. But I think it's unlikely. I'm gonna go as far as saying unlikely they'll turn it around. I'm gonna put my neck out. I mean, they, they've changed the way this game is going and that they started to take more reds, but it hasn't, it hasn't changed anything in terms of making more frags or anything like that. It's just changed the items they're taking. It hasn't changed anything else. You know, Mammoth is still coming off far better in the general combat around the map. They're taking up the more effective positions. I think it's seen a, a quite a change in the way teams are playing all the maps this season. There's a lot more focus on grouping together in one location or two, or like a very small area. Whereas traditionally, the last couple of years, people would have sort of almost set positions. You'd play this role, you'd play that role. You might not even be that close together. But I think a lot of teams are playing a lot closer knit strategies. A few seconds until the next power ups. It's not going to be in position. Be so with the quad, it's going to get taken out and switch around to the battle suit. In the hands of Piers, so a free battle suit run across the map should get the call. There's no quad to worry about, so do what he wants. Oh, does just miss that rail on Miso. Wow, maybe that's good defensive play by those two mammoth players. Really caused the battle suit so much trouble there, Nuba Killer and. His buddy. Good way to count the battle suit. Indeed. Yeah, so I just kind of feel that teams are having actually something that I'd maybe advise them to do, which is gang up, team up, stay a bit closer, nip. You're not giving away the frags, you're always outnumbering your opponent if they come and attack you. Good strategy, Vol. Or should it be more item focused? can be effective. I mean, if you want to stick together more as a team, I, I don't feel to be effective. You have to still move around a lot to, to stay together. I mean, that would be, in theory, the most optimal way to play TDM. If you get the items to the point where you can move as a team to each major item, just back and forth, like would be hard to style. Well, kind of, yeah. Two minutes remaining on this first map. I mean, I'm presuming it's the first map. We don't actually know for sure, do we? Uh, Disappoint if it's not. Yeah, it must, it must be. It's only 25 to 10 our time, and we wouldn't have expected two maps to have already been played. What? A map have already been played. Final power ups gonna spawn in about ten seconds. I mean all Sky can really hope for now is some spectacular well, frags and stunning. The Forge runs. might be able to take their first quad of the game. Here he goes. Damn it. You know, if you're mammoth there, I'd be demanding we got every quad. Just for the achievement of having done it. Just to show that sheer dominance. Nuba killer with this battle suit, he's pretty stacked. There's the quad coming up behind him, the forge. Good couple of shotguns, but it's so difficult to do damage with shotgun against a battle suit. But no, they will come rushing at him. That's actually worked out perfectly. And I was unlucky not to kill Deef. Yeah. Those look like pretty high damage shotgun hits, but not enough. So Deef must have had some amount of armor to his new. I mean, they've lost this by 50 frags, this has a similar margin to what they were beaten by Unknown. Yeah, so what does that say about Mammoth? Mammoth are as good as Unknown? Well, maybe not quite. You are going to be slightly more expensive, I'd imagine, with the, judging on the team's ability against nice railway peers. So maybe they'll be a little bit more defensive against Unknown, making it harder for them to pick up the frags. Red wins. Interestingly, it was, the score against Unknown was 150 to 100 on Purgatory. And, you know, they lost by a similar amount to Mammoth. Maybe they'll be slightly disappointed with that. 
because you know they'd have seen Mammoth. Surely, is their opportunity to not necessarily win Mammoth's map pick, but just to challenge them a bit more than they perhaps did in this round. But you know, we look at their power up stats. It's one quad taken, five battle suits. Well, Mammoth took five battle suits as well, but they also took nine quads, and. Realistically, you can't compete when those are the power-up statistics.